So when you're diagnosing something and then you're doing testing, sometimes that test can lead you, you think you're going one way, you can go the other way. And this is a prime example on this car airs. So this bolts to the exhaust like this. You have exhaust going through, this is called an EGR cooler, okay? Goes through this here and this coolant goes through here and here. It cools off the gases because you have hot gases, the exhaust gases going through here. The coolant cools those gases. It comes out. Let me grab a valve. This valve, which they call EGR valve, sits on there, okay, like so. And this valve, there's a, right there, there's a pentel that's closed. And see, it's full of just carbon. That remains closed until the ECM determines it needs to open up. So it energizes this solenoid right here. It retracts that pentel. Exhaust gases come out here. And then it goes through a tube that goes to the intake. That's how this system works, okay? It's all emission related. Well, when we're testing it, we're checking, we're turning on this valve, but no exhaust gas is coming out. So we're, you know, we thought possibly this valve was faulty. And we took off the pipe and we saw how much carbon was in the intake. So we knew there was a pretty good restriction there. Uh, so we thought this was faulty. And it may still be, um, but when we took this off, we looked in there and this thing was just full of carbon. So I was like, you know, we got to take this off because if this is not allowing any gases to go through this, this has no gases to go through it.